Hello there, Taurus. Welcome. This is going to be a reading from March 20th to March 31st. And first we're going to see what channel messages are meant for you that I received from the guides and angels. Let's see. What are your channel messages? We have check everything twice. Do not rush at this time. You might overlook something important. Okay. And then we have you are about to embark on a new journey. Could be a trip or a new way of life. In either case, you will be changed by this experience. And then we have all karmic deaths have been paid. Lessons have been learned. You now have a clean slate in these matters. Try to keep it clean. It will make the next time around a lot easier. Okay, and then we have... Pay attention to all the signs the universe is sending you at this time. Acknowledging them will only benefit you and keep them coming in for you. And at the bottom deck we have, you're about to be thrown into the spotlight. All eyes are on you. You'll be praised for your work and accomplishments. Accept this attention. It's about time and well deserved. Nice. Okay, now let's see what's happening for you guys. What's the cards got to tell you? Okay, but a little stuck there. The sun, what a way to start. The happiest card in the deck. Leo energy, too. You can be dealing with a Leo. A time of great joy and success, brilliant epiphanies. Epiphanies, I got, I did, this is like my, what's it, my 11th <laughs> reading here. They lead to magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly. Gratitude to the divine. All right. Happy, happy, happy. And then we have the Queen of Fire. This is um, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. So this could be your energy or this also could be someone that is coming in to you. In for you. Uh, <laughs> my words are not coming out right because I'm, I'm getting punchy now. So um, this could be a fire sign, but this could be any sign. This could be someone um, could be seeing you as this sign and being very attracted to you, very um, sexually uh, attractive and desirable, or you could be seeing someone like that. Oof. We have the Ten of Air, Ten of Swords. So there's an ending here. The end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. Um, the opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders. The end of an addiction, a melodramatic reaction. Okay. And at the bottom, we have the star, Aquarius energy. This could be, this is like you're getting in the spotlight. You're getting attention. Um, you're getting your wishes fulfilled here. Have faith in the future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. Okay, now let's start clarifying. Why do we have the sun here for Taurus? Why do we have the sun here? Have to make a decision here. at the stalemate. Not sure what to do. Not Maybe you feel like you don't have all the information because here you get the blindfold on. But you can take that blindfold off. I don't think you want to know. Maybe you start off being in the dark. Okay, what about this queen of fire? Ooh, the competition. You might be competing for this person or this person or there might be many people competing for you and you're you're above the rest. So that could be too. Let's see. Ten of air. We have ooh. So you're ending something to walk away from something to go to something that's a partnership, a soulmate connection. So you might be leaving a relationship to go to someone else um, that's your soulmate. Or you could even be leaving a job, maybe starting a partnership with someone. But we do have the devil here. This is Capricorn energy. This is someone that's maybe over, overthinking, over obsessing, uh, maybe obsessed about somebody or something. Uh, possessive. It also could be addictions. Um, overworking. What's sneaking out here? Someone might be afraid of being abandoned, left out in the cold. Okay, now do we? Yeah, well. Well, what's the word on this um this queen of wands the queen of fire what's the word for taurus we have later 
change married okay so maybe someone's married and later they won't be or maybe later you'll you'll get married to this person Hmm. Unless you're married, and then later you, you know, maybe you're getting a divorce. But something later, okay. I'll put it that way for now. Okay, now, what else we have for Taurus? What else? This is the Three of Air. Three of Swords, and it says... Great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past. Personal growth that comes from challenges. Healing misunderstandings. Bring them to those in need. Being, being the oh, be, I'm sorry. Being there for those in need. So something you're healing from something. And then we have the seven. This also could be a third party situation because this is a three of swords. So I just want to say, even though this card says something different, it could be someone um, interfered with your relationship with someone. It could be um, family, friends, um, work uh, habits or something. Could um, It could also be that someone had a, a, another person on the side, but that doesn't isn't always the case. And now we're going to seven of earth, seven of pentacles. Seeds were well planted efforts or investments that will be rewarded in time in the future the need for patience a time for resting and planning for the future unnecessary worry they're telling you not to worry it looks like things are going good for you okay and then we have the seven of swords Oof. so this is a loss of peace or peace of mind or personal freedom Take caution and be aware of others' actions, material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself. Embarrassing secret. So something might come out. Embarrassing secret. Let's see what we have here. Oh, but at the bottom, you do have um, the Ten of Earth, the Ten of Pentacles. So we have financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on of knowledge well that's nice now let's see why do we have this three of swords here why do we have this three of swords here for taurus Ooh, ace of swords well you're going to beat this whatever this is the truth is going to come out or you're cutting out with whatever did cause you this pain and you're going to start something new here something good okay what about the seven of or seven of pentacles Ooh, the Knight of Cups. So someone's coming to you with their cup of love. That could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It could be any sign. But it looks like someone's coming here and they want to uh, put the work in with the Seven of Pentacles. They're willing to do it. They might even become an apology. What about the Seven of the Air, though? Why do we have that? Ooh, the sun. Okay, whatever's happening here, you got the sun there, you got sun here. It's going to all blow over. If someone's trying to do something to you, they're not going to be able to do it because you got the sun. The sun is going to shine the light on them. They're not going to get away with it. And also, you might be going to Hermit Mo Virgo energy. You might be going doing a lot of soul searching, going deep down. You also might be a teacher or a healer or a student at this time. But you're finding your way. You're finding the answers. And in their lantern, that is the star. So you're finding you're going to the star. You're finding your light, your your way, the right way is being lit for you. Okay, and then we have awakening. Wow, this is the hangman, Pisces energy. So we have a temporary pause for reflection and insight, an awakening where you see things in a whole new light, embrace your own uniqueness, charitable actions. Yes, yeah, so you're seeing things differently. The time out, the, the time that maybe you had to wait and may, might have felt impatient, it was meant to so you could see things differently, have a better understanding. Let's see, we have the lovers. Ooh, so this is Gemini energy. This is choice, this is partnership, uh, soulmate connection. Embrace true love, and also could be twin flame, and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. 
vibrant health or recovery from an illness so anybody was feeling ill or sick you're recovering with this card that's nice let's see what else we have here we have the ten of fire ten of wands this is burdens and you know this is when you get the ten that means something's over the burdens are over working too hard or or too many hours the need to balance in life let others help you. Health problems due to stress. See, now you're getting healed, though, because these burdens are going away. But they said this was causing some effect on you. And ego, this is devil energy, Capricorn energy. This says the illusion of being trapped, accept responsibilities for your situation, and then make choices that support your path to happiness. Addiction and unhealthy habits. So someone might have addiction, or maybe they're obsessing over something, or they're doing too much of something. But it feels like that is ending for you because your burdens are ending. And I would imagine it's a burden here. And this knight is breaking the chains of this maiden. So you're going to be released. And then we have the high priestess, which is also Virgo and um, Cancer energy. So you're seeing things different. And you might be seeing things in different perspective. You might be becoming spiritual. Maybe you weren't spiritual before. Or something's... Um, you're seeing a different... If you were always spiritual, maybe you're seeing a different way. Uh, or something enlightened to you you also very your intuition is very strong so that's putting you in a uh, better perspective and what about the lovers why do we have the lovers so this is oh this is coming in quick chariot um this is um very fast movement here a change of some sort with the lovers someone's coming maybe someone's coming towards you real fast but love's coming in or a partnership or a choice and um, we do have the heart event, which is your card on the bottom. This might be a commitment here, marriage. Something happening really quick here. Okay, why do we have the Ten of Wands here? Why do we have the Ten of Wands? Ooh, Leo energy, strength. And we also have the Four of Pentacles. Someone's holding on tight to something. Or someone's um someone could also be being stingy and not opening up, getting closed off to not want to share. But we do have here Leo strength. Okay, do we have any more? Okay, let me Okay, let me put something on the Knight of Cups. See why the Knight of Cups is here. We have contact accused committed okay someone might accuse someone of being in a committed relationship and now they're coming in that's not gonna be for everyone let's see now i'm gonna do the because here we have the lovers and we have the two of cups so let me do the two of cups i don't really have any more court cards coming up here we have ooh, player maybe i should left it alone the end serious okay i think that someone here might have been a player before maybe that's what they're leaving they're walking away or the the ending here to being a player because we have the end and we then and we have the ten of swords so someone's ending their player ways and now they want to get serious and the two of cups they have a serious match this is the you or your person or the player and now they're no longer okay let's see let's get something for the lovers with the chariot what's going on with that we have separate omitted before immature okay so maybe you separated from someone and they admitted that before they were immature but now they're not so they're coming in quick all right we'll leave that there let's see what signs we're dealing with you guys taurus this looks good very nice what signs can you be dealing with we have libra Sagittarius, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, and Aries. So you could be dealing with someone that has these placements in their chart, or this could be their sun sign, moon sign. Libra, says Sagittarius, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, and Aries. So um, this could be the person that you're interested, person that um, this could be your end. She could see other people. This could be people you don't even know their signs. Okay, um, please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. And before I go on to the letters, if anybody's leaving now, they don't want to stay for the names. Um, 
I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And if you want to be notified every time I load up the videos and you're able to view them, you have to hit the little bell after you subscribe and then you'll get an email every time I um, load up my videos. So I'm, if you're leaving us now, have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is in your um, location. And have a wonderful weekend and I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much. Okay, on with the letters. We have G. G is Gabrielle, Gary with two R's, Gary with one R. And then we have Gabrave, G-A-U-R-A-V-I, Jeff, Jerry with I, Jerry with uh, R, two R's and a Y. Gaia, Gloria, Grace, and Graham. And then we have D. For D, we have Daisy, Dakisha, Dana, Danielle, um, Daniel, um, Darlene, Daryl, David, Dana, D-A-Y-N-A, Debbie, Deborah, Denise, Diana, Diane, Dini, Doby, Dolly, Dosi. Oh, now we have O. For O, we have Oakley, o Oasis, Oberon, um, Odyssey, Olga, Oliver, o Olivia, Olympia, Omar, Opal, Ophelia. Orion, Oscar, Otto, Owen, and Ozzy. And then for N, we have Nacho, Nancy, Nat, Natasha, Nate, Nathaniel, Nawazis, N A W A Z I E S T, Neil, Nelly, Nick, Nicole, Nines, Norma, and Nida. N Y D E A. And the very last one. We have G. Oh, we already had G. Wait, let me get another one. E. Okay, with the E's. We have Eddie, Edith, Edward, Elena, Elizabeth, Elia, Elsa, Elsie, Elvira, Emil, and E M E L, Andre, E N D R E, Eric, Erica, and Everett. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and viewing this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you have a wonderful night day also an excellent weekend and hope to see you again real soon thank you so much